Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we start this next video, we're going to do some graphing. Where are my babies? Zeusy! I'm out by my pool today, so hey, Zeusy. Tell everybody hello. It's one of my dogs. And look, I'm going to show you where I'm going to be jumping in in a minute. Woohoo! Okay, but in the meantime, uh oh, what a burger number 46. Okay. In the meantime, let's do some graphing. Now, remember, remember what we did. Let me talk you back through the steps, okay? Whenever you graph, you're going to push zoom six. That is step one. And, well, well, how about we turn the calculator on first? On. Then we're going to push zoom and the option six. And that brings up my graph paper, okay? That lets me know that I'm ready to graph. It's waiting for me to type something in. Now, whenever you're graphing, after you've typed Zoom 6, and of course we already went through the table setup, which really isn't necessary because it, it, it's going to start itself anyhow. But let's say I'm trying to graph the opposite of 3x plus y is 5. So I'm trying to graph this function. Okay? That's the line that I want to graph, the function that I want to graph. <clears throat> Whenever you're trying to use a graphing calculator, there are two steps. Zoom 6 is the first one. The second step is always solve your equation for y or f of x, because remember from Math 1033, y and f of x are the same thing. So, I cannot start graphing this because y is not alone. And of course, to get y alone, we're going to add 3x to both sides of the equation. So I have y equals, and let's put it in the correct order. Let's not write 5 plus 3x. Let's write 3x plus 5, because hopefully you remember the form y equals mx plus b. For a line, that's the correct form to have it in. 3 is the slope, and 5 is the y-intercept. But on a graphing calculator, look what's so cool. If you want to graph this on a graphing calculator, once you have your standard window up, which remember we did zoom 6, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to go to the button that says y equals, and you're going to push it, okay? And then you're going to type in, follow me, 3. The button next to the green alpha key has an x on it, and that is our x button. So see, when I typed it, it did 3x. Then, of course, plus and 5. So I have entered y equals 3x plus 5. I come over here to the graphing button. See the graph? I push it, and it draws my line for me. Isn't that cool? Now, there are a couple things I want to show you about this line, okay? One of the things that's really cool about this line, remember that a line is made up of infinitely many ordered pairs. Those ordered pairs are put in your calculator in a table. And if you ever wanted to see that table, you see how the word table is above graph? All you have to do is hit the blue second function key, go to the graph button, which will give me the table, and look what I have. Notice how my value started with x is negative 3. That's because I told my table to start there. But look, when I scroll down, I have like the ordered pair 1a, the ordered pair 211, the ordered pair 314, 417, 520, 623, and I can also scroll the other way to get to my negative x values. Isn't that awesome? So you have an entire table of ordered pairs. If I push graph, it takes me back to the graph. One other feature I want to show you, once you've graphed a function, if you push the trace key, see the button trace? If you push the trace key, this little spider appears on the screen. One of my colleagues calls it a dead bug, okay? I call it a spider. So let's see the little flashing spider? And it also gives me the ordered pair 0, 5. That spider is currently on the Y intercept. So that's kind of cool. And then if you use your little arrow keys, the left or right arrow keys, let's push the left one, you can make the dead bug move down the line and notice it's giving me the different ordered pairs that it's moving to. And they're not always pretty, are they? They're not always integers. And I can make, by pushing this key this to the right, 
I can make the dead bug move in a different direction. And eventually, you know, it's even getting out of the place where I can't see it anymore. And remember the reason I can't see this, Y is 20, is out of my standard window. So I would have to adjust my window to see it. Okay.